Good morning and happy Monday. Uh, you know, I figured I'd start off today with a with a, a coffee joke, something I heard online. It's a dad's joke. So, Pastor Ray, this one's for you. But Kristen, you were recently reading out of the book of dad jokes, so I figure maybe you can jump on this one as well. Where in the Bible does it say that making the coffee is the man's job? Now, if you guys can come up with the answer, post it down below here, wherever the button is for reply. So click on that. Throw that in here and, and let me know if we can get it. If not, I'll try to remember to, uh, to update that. So anyway, today, today's verse, we're talking about Hebrews 12, 14. Work at living in peace with everyone and work at living a holy life. For those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Now, this verse is really interesting. And as I started to think through it today, there's probably three or four, maybe even more different things we can talk about here. But first of all, let's talk about peace. I mean, Jesus came to earth as the Prince of Peace, and yet there's been so many wars and disagreements. How are we missing this? How are we missing the fact that we're supposed to work at living in peace? Well, let's look at the second part of this. The second part says, work at living a holy life. Now, holy is a kind of a misunderstood word from, from various people, including myself, until relatively recently, I really began to grasp this is, what this means. Holy is actually set apart from. So work at living a life that is set apart from others. Now, how does that work? If we're supposed to live in community with people, how are we supposed to work at living a life that is actually set apart from others? Well, I think what this works at and what this actually speaks to is a lot of what's going on in today's culture. I know as a child, I spent a good portion of my life, and even some points today, just trying to fit in. So if we fit in, how do we stand out? We spend so much time trying to just blend in with the crowd, to not be seen. I've seen this in my kids. They want to be good at something, but they don't want to attract attention. So they're afraid to really put forth the effort. That fear of failure keeps them from try striving to be excellent, which keeps them from being different being holy, being set apart, such that they're actually noticed. And the other thing that speaks in here is living at peace. Well, I think in today's society, we find so many situations. Look at our government. One side of the government cannot communicate and work with the other. Why? Because they're not trying to. They can have different opinions and still work together. And that's what this is saying. We don't have to agree with everything that everybody says, but working at live, work at living in peace in our differences. Because when we do that, then we can find common ground. Only then can we actually persuade somebody and get them to actually understand our point of view, or in this case, what we're speaking about here, understand God's point of view, understand the way forward, understand the path, the truth, the light, understand how to get to heaven. And that's what the last part of this speaks to. For those that are not holy will not see the Lord. Now, I've been called holier than now once or twice, and... I've always taken exception to it because I really don't feel that I'm better than anybody else. However, I do feel that I try to be who God intended me to be. And in doing that, maybe that does come off as a little bit holier than now because although I'm not holy, I'm not different than anybody else in any way. I'm trying to be more like Jesus. I'm trying to do better. And in that, maybe I seem judgmental. Maybe I seem... Like I'm trying to come off like I'm better than somebody else. But I know, all I know is that I'm following ways that are better than my own. Yet, better said, I'm trying to follow ways that are better than my own. I don't do it well. Which leads us back to the beginning of this verse. It doesn't say live at peace. Live a holy life. It says work at living in peace with everyone. Work at living a holy life. God knew from the very moment he created us that we were not perfect. In fact, he did that intentionally. He gave us free will so we could choose the right path, so we could choose him. And in giving us the opportunity to make decisions, he also gave us the opportunity to make mistakes, which is why he doesn't hold us completely accountable for those mistakes so long as we're trying to follow him, trying to live a holy life, trying to be different and stand out in a way that follows his word and his guidance. And in that, try a living in peace. Well, sometimes walking into the temple and upsetting the tables of where the temple has been turned into a marketplace, clearly that may not look peaceful. 
But what this verse doesn't say is sit down for everything. It doesn't say be quiet so that you can live at peace. Sometimes being honest and being holy, being set apart and different, being holy in that way to stand out means standing up. But living in peace, what that means is don't throw the punch. It is important to stand up for your beliefs, to stand up for what God called us to be and what God told us to do. But we don't have to throw punches to do that. In fact, we're probably not going to beat anybody up into submission to follow what we think. The only way to show them the path forward is to show them love, to live at peace, to live a holy life so we're seen as children of God, acting as holy and as 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 Christian as we possibly can, so that people will see something and say, what is it about them that's different? Why do I wanna be near them? Why do I wanna know them? And it's not us, it's him. He's the one they wanna be near. But we're supposed to be the hands and feet. We're supposed to be doing the work in his way so that we can stand out and show the way to the Father. That's what Hebrews 12, 14 means to me. Father God, thank you so much for this guidance. There's so much wisdom and lesson packed into so many tiny little sentences in your word. Father God, I pray that you can help us find a time to put everything else aside, quiet the noise, and just be with you in your word so that we can learn how to walk forward. So that when we cannot find the way, Lord, we follow you anyway, and you will show us that way. Please help us to live at peace, but to stand up. Help us to work with everybody, whether we agree with their views or not, but to spend time with them so that we can show them you and show them your love and your way. Father God, help us to be more like your son, to be more like you, to listen to the Holy Spirit that you gave us such that we can be the people that you intended us to be and show the word that you have been telling us all from the beginning of time as you created it. Father God, thank you for your mercies and your grace and the times and time again that we fall down and don't do like we should. But Father God, thank you for always being there to help us pick ourselves up to stand up, to take the next step, and to keep walking the path no matter how many times we screw it up. Thank you for your forgiveness. In your son's holy name, amen. Oh, I have days I lose the fight. Try my best, but just don't get it right. Talk a talk that I don't walk And miss the moments right before my eyes Somebody with a hurt that I could have helped Somebody with a hand I could have helped When I just can't see past myself Lord, help me be A little more like mercy A little more like grace A little more like kindness Goodness, love a little more like patience, a little more like peace, a little more like Jesus, a little less like me, a little more like Jesus, a little less like me. Let's go out there today, live at peace, standing up for what God told us to do so that we can be noticed and he can be seen. I pray you have a fantastic day. Go out, spread the good word. Enjoy what is hopefully a sunny day in your world. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you soon.